What's cracking, fam? What's cracking, fam? What's cracking, fam? It's your boy, Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk with a little short one just for you, fam. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Well, anyway, fam, this show is going to be about um, the shooting, school shooting in Tennessee. School shooting in Tennessee, fam. Three adults killed, three in their 60s, and three children, all nine years old. Three babies killed, fam, by transgender. The transgender. I've been warning people about them trannies. I've been warning people about them. People don't want to listen, you know, to act like they all so good and nice. You know, the transsexuals and be nice to them and all that stuff, dear. Eh, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear it. Like I said before, if you want to sit there and call yourself a homosexual, that's your preference. You do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. You're homo. Cool. I have nothing against you dudes or women, whatever you are, right? But all this transgender stuff here, Nah, 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 hell no, hell no. The world don't want to hear this stuff no more about this transgender woman and things like that. There is no such thing as a transgender woman. Why America keep trying to put, force this into our thinking, into little small kids thinking like it's okay. Don't you see the gender they have in America to make all this homosexuality, transgender shit good? Now why? Why all of a sudden they doing that stuff now? Like I said before, the Caucasian Americans, European Americans, were the majority. They feel they feel that this is their home, that this, this is us. When they stole this land, right? When they stole this land, right? Now they want to come in and change things. They want to change nature. These past good 10 years, we've seen what was going on. First it came with them, don't ask, don't tell. Don't ask, don't tell. Of course, you left it like that. Don't ask, don't goddamn tell. Like I said, they've been homos in the military since the military began. Okay, so that's nothing new, right? But when you start letting these people in, try to give them extra um, rights, you know, say, join the military, you know, right? When they get inside the military, they're going to get sex changes, these hormone pills, and all this stuff there. Who's paying for this there? The train's not paying for it. The taxpayers are paying for this bull. You know what I'm saying? Now we got on a train to come inside school. With a um, assault rifle, shoots the door, da 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 da, gets inside there, and um, and kill people, and killed them, right? But two police officers they came inside there, subdued the situation, and killed the tranny, which I find that wrong. He should shot that tramp his goddamn legs and send the send the send goddamn prison for life. That'd been more better. That'd been been more better for um, the tranny. Right, they get on this train. I said, is it a man or what? What is it? I don't know. They showed the footage of me. I kept looking. I was like. It looked like um, a girl who wants to be a dude, you know what I'm saying? Was a former student of the school. When I say a former student, I thought the person was about 18 years old, 17 years old, 19 years old who attended that school. This is a little small school, maybe a high school. It looked like junior high. It looked like the kids that came that day looked like junior high students. They looked like high school students. But he was um, a former student there. So what made him go crazy and wait? 12 years after he done graduated from school, 10, 12, 15 years to go back to school and start shooting things up. There's no excuse for that. You someone do too much, or maybe he was um, sexually assaulted by the, the teachers. Yeah, 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 I don't hear that. That means you come back 10 goddamn years later and kill three people, three women, and three goddamn kids. I don't care what happened to him. What happened to him. There's no excuse and there's no um, proof of that happening. So therefore, I said these, um, these trans, they're sick in their head. They are sick. They are sick, you know what I'm saying? For you to come there and say, oh, oh, I feel like I'm a woman now. I want some breasts. I want to know some ass. I want to change my name to goddamn fucking Diane or some shit there. That means you're a sick person. That's what the fuck automatically means that you're a sick person. And America keep trying to, um, how you saying, get these people back in, back in them. About the tranny this, the tranny that. You hear, hear too much. It's in the news everywhere. Tranny, LBG. They all got some kind of big goddamn agenda. Big agenda. That's why I say, keep your kids away from this bullshit. Watch what your kids watch on TV. Because now they got homosexual cartoons with cartoon characters kissing. They want to promote this here, put this on to the little kids. That's what they want. That's their goddamn agenda. You know what I'm saying? I say it's the Democrat agenda. Because that shit happens since goddamn um, Obama came inside with that bullshit. No transsexual bathrooms. Tranny bathrooms. So you expect every business, every school, every public building now to make a certain bathroom for trannies? No. What are you trying to do? Now, I'm a tranny. I can go inside this bathroom and take a piss or shit. You hear what I'm saying, fam? Your little daughter could be inside a bathroom. You know, so some black like big dude walk inside there with girl clothes on. 
acting like he's a tranny, but not a tranny, is a goddamn rapist, and you rape your goddamn kids. Then what you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? What you gonna, what's, what's next then? What's next? Now it's too late. The little girl been raped. What's next then? Oh, don't let them inside the bathrooms no more, but they got to use the bathroom. Where are they gonna go? Huh? I don't help that transsexual. If you was born a man, you get yourself in a men's bathroom. You know what I'm saying? If you was born a girl, you go yourself in a goddamn girl's bathroom. Because I tell you, if I had me a little daughter, and my little daughter's in the bathroom, and some training man walk inside that bathroom there, he's going to fucking um, need a stretcher to leave, exit that goddamn bathroom. Hear that bullshit? It's, it's too much now. America is slipping too goddamn much. This training stuff here. It's too much. It's like, what, what's your agenda? Make a fucking United States of, of homosexuals? That's I believe what they see the flags go around. They put the flags on embassies in Jamaica. They put the, the, the LBG2 flag up. They doing too much shit. It's like they make us making us weak. Makes us look like we're the land of homosexuals. Us in Israel. You no, know, that there's the buddies there. America, Israel. You no, know, hand in hand with the shit they doing. Gay parades and all this goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying, fam? But in America, what they try and do, they try to make the black person. The face of this shit here. Why you got the sorry ass dude, um, Dwayne Wade, and his own um, woman who can't handle babies. It's not her baby, you know, and, and pushing this um agenda on his son Zion. I'm not gonna call it that little punk Zion. His so name is Zion. Get way change goddamn name to him. Okay, you wanna change the name to Zion? Cool, you could be the Zion. But I would never call a little punk a goddamn girl. It's a goddamn shame, you know. If his kid walk around with girl clothes, Little big long ass weaves, lipstick on, girl dressing with the father and the mother. Boy, about 15 goddamn years old. And Dwayne Wade Wade do get him legalized that he's now a woman. And he's doing interviews and get an NAACP award. Why well, give a man NAACP boy because he made his little boy homo? He's gonna sacrifice his goddamn boy. NAACP, forget them. They don't represent no black people. Just like they say they want to get reparations, $50 million reparations, they say, oh no, this and that. And people kind of listen to them. Any kind of black person that speaks up against our reparations, do not mess with them. Do not support them. Do not support no NAACP, NAA colored people. Who's the fucking colored people? Huh? White, black, green, whatever the fuck talks about the colored people shit. These dudes are old goddamn pastors from the South and shit there with this old ass mentality. The black man mentality does not need no NAACP. We don't support no NAACP. Get the hell out of here, NAACP. Talk to you speaking up for us. You know what I'm saying? Like you speaking up for us about some reparations. Mind your own goddamn business, NAACP. If you don't want none, whoever person that's it, that's your goddamn prerogative. But for us, us stop speaking for us about some goddamn reparations. Y'all don't speak for it, but so when you speak about it, get it, you, you won't speak there. That's why I say these goddamn blacks, some are worse than the goddamn Ku Klux Klan. Yes, they're worse than the Ku Klux Klan. They never but ass kisses. And I tell you for some kind of a race wolves ever pop off in America, don't worry about the white people. Don't worry about the other people there. What we need to do is eliminate all these goddamn Sambos. <sighs> eliminate all of them. Eliminate all of them. Because they're fucking dangerous. They don't care about their goddamn people. Or they want this prestige and look good in front of goddamn on um, who was on, uh, 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 above them. You know what I'm saying? If we white, we black, who was above them? They want, they, they want to try to get to a certain status. They will cater towards these people here and say, forget my people. These are the worst sellouts you can get there. I'll tell you something. Sometimes these... So-called African American Negroes, oh, oh, oh goddamn, it's like real pathetic. They're real pathetic. Yes, they are. I don't give a goddamn tell the truth. They're real pathetic. Why? Because they cater so much and try to act like they want to be accepted so much in a land who treat them so goddamn bad, but don't act like they want to be on um, down with them. They don't give a fuck about us. They don't. They see a black man as a strong black man. What they try to do make the black person look weak. Look at all the commercials I tell you about that. You don't see more black couples with no goddamn commercials. You might see a um a, a mulatto woman with um a white dude with a little biracial kid, you know, or vice versa. Some beige dude with um some white girl with a blonde kid. You don't hear no black black. Some like Wesley Snipes, Vivica Fox with a little black baby. You don't see that no more. Why? Because it's too goddamn strong. They want to use the weak the weakness and they try. Put it just us. That is not us. Y'all keep that shit there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep that there. They know we are strong. You know what I'm saying? They know that that's what they fear, the strongest that we have. You know what I'm saying? The, um, anything that we do in this world, people look at it and follow us. And they follow us because they love us. You know what I'm saying? But what is LBGTQ shit? I told you before, these goddamn dudes are dangerous and they're goddamn sick. You know what I'm saying? And then you are sick too. You know what I'm saying? 
You are sick too if you want to sit there and say, oh, that's a transgender woman. That's not a woman, that's a man. Stop, stop using that goddamn word. Any black person, any person out there, black, white, what the hell you was, stop using that shit to transgender woman. They're transitioning to be a woman. You born a woman, you got a pussy, you gonna have some goddamn tits. I forgot what the X, 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 Y, X, what the fuck it is it is. You are a woman. You cannot change that, you trannies. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna stop calling you trannies. Anybody dudes who wanna dress up as girls. That's all it is. No such thing as some goddamn tranny stuff there. But like I tell you before, these people are sick. Anyone who wants to change their um, sexual thing, there, there's something wrong with them psychologically. Psychologically, there's something wrong with them. Yes, there is. You see how this one is female, dressed up as a goddamn dude one side, then shot the whole school up. People and little kids, little babies. Little babies. First, I was like, who did that? I saw the picture. I was like, is that a boy or girl? I can't really tell. It's also transition women. The transgender, all this transitioning shit there. America's done. America's done. They try to normalize this shit now. Like I talked about a male bill yesterday. How they try they trying to travel around the world, especially to Africa, and promote this LBGTQ shit. I tell like this here. If I was the president of one of these African countries, I have like this here. Do not come here. Even question about some LBGTQ shit there. If you do, I'm gonna lock your punk ass up. That's what they need to do. Take them guys to report us, these little missionaries, these um these soldiers who come with, with agenda, they're trying to promote homosexuality in Uganda, Kenya, Ghana, every goddamn where. Lock their ass up. Throw them inside a goddamn fucking Ghana prison where there's no goddamn beds at. People lay on the goddamn floor and see how they survived there. See how they would survive there. Let some booty bands get on their goddamn ass. So they want to promote all this goddamn LBGTQ shit. Let them get served in a goddamn foreign prison. That's what I say. Let them get served real good in a foreign prison. Yes, that's what they need to do. Keep them fools out of there. You know what I'm saying? Don't let them come inside your countries, Africa, promoting this shit. They're talking this shit. They, they can do that because they are American. Lock their ass up. You lock America up inside a goddamn foreign jail, he'll pants so goddamn quick. they fucking soft as fuck anyway. So, therefore, you know, they're never better to survive. They're not going to be able to survive a goddamn thing in there. You know what I'm saying, fam? Now, so shit happen. You come to another country and promote some goddamn gay stuff there, they need to lock you up inside that goddamn country. At least two years. Minimum two years. Let them sweat a little bit. Let the, let the, let the booty bands have about a whole year or something. Then ship his ass back to America with stretched up butt cheeks, you know what I'm saying? And see when he will still keep talking about this LBGTQ stuff. You know what I'm saying, fam? Keep them away from your kids, fam. You no, know, they got the school, they got the, the tranny fairy tale boys telling stories to kids and shit like that there. What children allows is here? No one allows it. They just put that put that there and say, oh, there's nothing wrong with it. Teach your white kids about some, some dude they're teaching, talk to you about some stories about some goddamn tranny big dude with a wig on, lipstick and shit like that. Us black people, we don't want that. And the black people that do want that there, they are not black people. <laughs> they are not black people. Most definitely not. Dwayne Wade, he's he's upset. You know what he's, he's real upset. He wish you could be his son. He wish you could be courageous as Zion. But he wasn't like that. You know, he was he was a sucker. You know, he still is a sucker. He goes to my house where my sister gone high heels and dresses as a little kid like that's normal. That is not goddamn normal. He's a, he's a homo. He's he been a homo. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I'm gonna, he got a wife. He's a bisexual. To put it that way there. He's not a straight man. You know what I'm saying? We all got mothers and fathers and aunts and sisters and shit like that. How many of us walk around and put grandma, auntie sh shoes on, bag on, some necklace on, some shit, they walk around the house. I don't give a fuck how old you, four or five years old. Then you do something like that, you got to live about two years old. Then you can say, okay, he's a like baby. You four or five years old, you know better than that shit, you know what I'm saying? That's how you say, you should not kill, you should not steal, you know goddamn well as a man, you shouldn't put no goddamn girl clothes. And I'm out, fam. Peace.